I've just finished doing a clean out after the first year of a new fire pit we have and I thought I'd give a rundown on how it was made because it's um, very easy to make well I mean it's hard labor but it was easy to make it was cheap and it turned out to be a great fire pit so this is it essentially it's made out of um, it's just field stone and mud is how I did it so uh, the only um, I had to get a uh, this big rock here in the back I had to get someone to bring that up here with a with a bobcat but other than that the rest of them I was able to pick up with a wheelbarrow uh, so essentially what we have here is just these rocks I dug out a circle put them in there and then packed it up with mud and packed it up with mud and rocks until until it's sturdy and that's the trick is you got to get it packed with rocks and mud and then after you're done you just wash it in with uh, with a hose a lot of mud a lot of dirt and you let it wash in there and pack down and you end up with this really uh, it's actually a really cool fireplace and it's, it's strong I mean all these rocks are in there really secure you can walk all the way around this thing nothing you know none of these none of these rocks will move because um, they're in there so secure just with mud so basically the the trick to this thing is that when you have a rock like this well, any of these you basically have to go one-third of the distance into the ground with the rock so this big rock back here is uh, it's probably two feet into the ground this one's probably this one's probably 18 inches or more down below so you got to get big enough rocks that you can get them down into the ground so you just dig your hole out line up your rocks and then uh, take smaller rocks pack them in there around the bottom of the rock jam them in there I used a hammer or sledgehammer and beat them in to where everything's tight and then you just take your dirt and uh, a hose and you wash the dirt down into the cracks until everything's filled up and I put some rocks around on the outside like that and this is actually really just a great fire pit this rock back here this big one I mean even after you've been burning for a couple of hours you can touch you know the back of it is uh, will is still cool to the touch so it doesn't heat up and uh, it reflects the heat back to the front and so it's just been great we used it all fall a lot through the winter and I just now cleaned it out now one thing I did do that you can't see is that the bottom is lined with rocks as well it's got dirt over it now and ash and whatnot but the bottoms lined with rocks because you there have been instances where people have had a fire pit and there's roots under there and the roots die and they can actually burn and travel underground the burning can travel underground and start fires so you do want to line it with rocks but there you go put a few benches around it and uh, makes it excellent it's just an excellent fire pit